What's going on, everybody? Got ourselves another U S A 240 stamp bat, and we got a, a silverback from Worth, guys. Um, this is a short barrel. So Josh, Chad, and myself are going to be out there at Flaherty Park. Um, we're going to be out there at night, of course. We're going to go put some swings on this bad boy, but we're going to go test it real quick for you. And hey, guys, at the end of the video, we'll let you know what we think of it. So All right, let's guys, go. we're going to test the silverback, the Worth silverback. Let's see what that is. That's right at 1750. What's it say on that sheet? Mm, 288. So 290? Yeah, right around 288, 285, I guess. That sounded. Bro, this bat, I don't know if it was the ball that freaking. Good. I haven't felt any flex. Um, uh, it is, I believe it. This thing's a good bat, man. You gotta, you gotta like cut. Yeah, if you cut, this thing will do stuff. It'll do stuff. I love that. It'll do stuff. A little information about the worst Silverback XL, guys. Um, these come in sizes of 25, 26, and 27. Um, these are a XL, which basically means it's a half ounce end load. And these feature a 12 and a quarter inch barrel. I think the load on that's going to be pretty good. And I'm missing these. I tried to lift that. I think it nuffed it too. All right, guys, we got the 26 ounce silverback coming in at 25.4 ounces overall. I have to do it that way because it won't let me test it on the end cap. 15.8 on the end load. Nine one on the hands. The fact that y'all. I was underneath it. I was uh, trying to like. I did. Man, staying on the back leg gets me elevation. Yeah, it does. That's too much elevation. 
Like, I missed that. Hey guys, if you haven't recognized, we're back out there at Flaherty Park in Wake Forest, North Carolina. It's a 300 foot fence all the way around. Um, temperature wise, that day it was in um, that night, and like, actually, it was like in the mid 70s. Guys, we're hitting some evil BP rockets, also our short porch pro ems and our short porch uh, freedom balls. Guys, I have links down below for both of these balls with discount codes to help you save some money. So let's get back to the video. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do the final testing on the worst silverback. Let's see what we get here. That is seventeen hundred. Which is basically, yeah, 275. Watch those dudes at Judy. Oh my God. That thing knuckled move? like crazy. It's soft as hell. Like that? I didn't know. Still missed it, bud. She's good. Yeah. It's a good bat, man. I'm going to try a theory on this. I'm moving way up. That right there. Like, this you is, know, this is the, like, cut, straight cut down. Yeah. Like, this is, if you love to wait, and then just, whew, that right there. Is, I think that's what All right, guys, so let's just finish up swinging into where silverback. Um, first things first, let's go to waiting real quick. So, 25.5 on the end, uh, 9, 9 one on the hands, 15.8 on the end load. Um, scaling the bat kind of scales light. For a half ounce in load but when we swung it kind of, we thought it had some butt i mean we were swinging it the whole time we we're like man this bat's got a little bit of butt to it um but we we never felt like it it swung light i'll put it that way um sweet spot started about right here grew definitely of course and um never got rung up we never felt a lot of flex in the handle but um the guys kept going and they were like hey man this is a good bat to cut the ball with you know and they were kind of like coming over the top and you know, you could like just snap and cut this thing, man, and just kind of kind of like a downward swing. It was a really good bat to cut with. And um, we we hit this uh, on a different day. We kind of compared it to the Freak 9R. And, um, man, we had a hard time telling the difference between this and the Freak 9R other than the in load because the Freak 9R is a one-ounce in load. Um, ball jumps off this barrel, guys. It hits really good in the cooler weather. We, we could tell because we were hitting like in the low 70s that, that, that night we were hitting. But, um... Ball comes off this bat. We were really surprised at how well this bat performed because we we did not know what to expect. Because honestly, guys, the mic and the worst stuff to us is kind of falling off a little bit, and we felt like, hey man, I mean, maybe somebody slept on this bat, so we tried it out. Hey, we liked it. Um, I would definitely take a look at these because their prices are very reasonable right now. Because this this is like a bat that got passed over, so they're kind of like a lot of people, a lot of the companies are trying to get rid of them and stuff. So take a look at these guys. I'm gonna put some links down below some places where you can pick these up at and save yourself a little bit of money. But guys, pretty damn good bat. Um, take a look at them. Uh, but uh, hey guys, I guess that's it. Until next time, keep hitting it. And hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We'll talk to you later.